Hello, welcome back to Weeb Wednesday Season 3 with the new BB Tag patch in Central Fiction. Yep, Central Fiction will start us off. We have some newcomers. Yep. I don't think I've seen either of these people here before. Do you have yeah. you? Uh, well, I've seen Ram because I know him, but uh, Ram's been here for Smash once, and that's about it. Dang. Um, How'd you he has a grand total of zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds in Central Fiction. Oh, boy. So, uh, I don't even think he knows who's in this game. <laughs> but he just entered bracket anyways. So, yeah, so the probably the most interesting part of this matchup will be uh, who he picks. Yep. Well, I know the guy on the left, Icarus. I've played with him before. He knows a pretty good deal about this game. Right, he plays well, Naoto. This, oh, okay. So we'll see what that looks like. Sick. Naoto's cool. And I don't want to be that guy who like just roots for his friends, but... If the other person has literally zero hours in the game, I yeah, think that gives me leeway. Oh, you, did he go Susan now? Susan Nuwu? He said he was going to go whoever's cutest. You're not pick Susan now. Susan is a major cutie. What are you talking about? Okay, I don't think he's going to Susan now. Oh, he's looking around. He thought about Makoto. I could see it. Do we have screens reversed? Uh, Nah, it should be fine. Oh, he went lychee. Okay, have fun figuring that out. <laughs> no, yeah, they are but respect for lychee. Lychee, lychee's, yep. a, lychee's a hottie. Uh, so, uh, yeah. stylish lychee. I don't even think it's good. Do technical. Don't be a coward. Type A. Real men do ta do technical. I'm telling you. Did they check buttons? They did. Uh, the name should be flipped. I think. Yeah, Ram should be player one. Yeah. I think they might have just picked the wrong controller. Or, like, the wrong places, but... Nah, they're... The cameras, the cameras are right. Alright, so we got Lychee and Nayato. Both, uh... Alright. I just think it's hilarious he picked one of the hardest characters in the game. Alright, let's right. see what happens. I mean, he doesn't even really get how fighting games work. I don't even think he gets, like, the Gatling combo system or anything. He doesn't even know how to do ABCD? No. Oh, boy. He probably doesn't even know what it is. This is probably going to be a slaughter. Yeah. All right, so we got Persona 3 Naito. Okay. All right, just testing the waters. Okay. We got the pull out. Ooh, yep. Not blocking. All right, we got the basic Rekka. Light cheese in the corner. Oh, gets anti air six D. Oh, drops the combo. Yeah. Now I don't I don't know much about how Lychee plays honestly, except she's uh, really hard. She's really hard. She kind of she... does everything. She's I know super she like mix uses the staff in combination yeah, with her regular attacks. She's super mix up heavy is probably the best way to describe her. Um. Definitely like a legacy character has been in Blaze Blue since the start. Um. You know, the, the well-endowed battle babe of the game. Yep. Oh, that was an actual string. Let's go. All right. Didn't get perfected. That was All goal. right. Awkward first round from both players, yeah. kind of just jumping around. But, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he figures something out. Okay. That was, that was like, a, at least a mix-up. Oh, he All bursted. Right. Bursts. Oh, gets hit by the downward strike there. Ooh, that was a one frame link. Oh, gets a pickup. Big combo. Yeah, Naito does a lot of damage. 4.2. Nice combo coming out from Icarus there. <sighs> he grabbed him. Or I guess I should say from Ram because apparently both players are now Ram. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Icarus is the Naito. Yep. All right. They could have thrown out these just blood moves, it seems. Spending yeah. a lot of time in the air. I right, guess him with the 2A. He Rams, drops the combo. He, for not knowing how to play, he has like the game plan of like just kind of keep your space and find hits when you can. And, uh, just gets grabbed. Grab, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you don't know how to play lychee, it's it's not easy. There's no yeah. like... There's no Both, like... There's not even an easy bread and butter. Yeah. Both players looking pretty shaky, yeah. but... Uh, Icarus did get a 
4K though. Yeah, he that's, did get th that's that's like really good Naito damage. Yeah, so he knows his combos, but he's just yeah. dropping them all over right. the place. So no switch. He's gonna stick with Lychee. Yeah. Or Leche or whatever. Ooh, run up sweet. I mean, I think you should have just told him my. Oh, anti air. I think what you should have done was tell him about my. I did, but he was like, "I'm just gonna play whoever's cutest." And I was like, "Absolute respect." Oh, overhead. I was like, "My's cute." But uh, that's the wrong bracket. <laughs> Purple oh, grab. They, I don't think they fixed the. Uh, yeah, they didn't update the uh, bracket coming. Oh, uh, oh, activate overdrive. I don't know. Oh, what gets a grab. Is that staff spinning around her just cinematic? I don't actually know if it does anything. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. I know Hazuma gets the circle around him, and that does damage if you're standing inside it. It might do something. Maybe it's easier to activate things. Hello, Waddle. I see you are not down here with the Yukiko chess piece. I. Okay, good blocks. Oh, That's wild possible, DP. That's but picks a, uh, a heavy startup option. Okay. Gets the corner. All right, does the Rekka, goes yeah. into the air. Standard air combo, good stuff. Yep, standard ladder combo, 2.4. Not much damage, but it's something. At least it's a combo. Yeah. yeah. Same combo it's again. Standard combo. Gets a little more damage because he had, he had the uh, dash boost thing. And the counter hit. Oh, a counter hit probably did it. Oh, that was almost a combo. Wait, that was. I an actually think that that was true. an actual combo. I what? think that's actually true. He just kind of delayed it when it's when it became a blue beat. But uh, that was actually sick. He is playing on technical too. Yeah, this man just did an actual combo on technical. Yeah, with Le light chain. Light chain's no joke. All right, yeah, super. <laughs> just super. Their wake up. All uh, right. You know, Ram looked like you figured something out. That's two, At least, isn't like, that two zero? Yeah, it's a two zero for Icarus. Icarus, you know, good night Uh No fist bump. Where's the fist bump? It's over. Let's Turn the your fist. controller off. There's the fist bump. Oh my god! All right. All right. Jay can come commentate now if he wants. I just wanted to. Interesting round one. Ram set. Oh, he's uh, he's gonna turn his controller off. Yeah, yeah. All right, good stuff. All right, what so, is our second match? Just a little backstory on Ram. Uh, he's like a melee player. That's pretty much all he plays. A little ultimate on the side. So uh, that's probably the first time he's ever played a fighting game in bracket. But uh, nice. I'm going to get replaced by the F SMH fly. I thought it was SMN fly. Oh, SMN. It's not smitch fly, it's smin fly. Hello. Hello. Whoa. That's some quite the static in the background, I'll all be right. honest. This is what Teddy does to the stream. It's got Turns it. Controller. Uh, you'll need this cord. All right. So what is our round two? Um, I, what I am hearing, I believe it is Atlas versus Sticky Ducky, or so whatever variation of Jack Russell he is this week. Oh, nineteen. Corolla, but I'm not putting. The Celica. Shouldn't it be? It, at least some abbreviated version of that should be. He was that like last year. Oh, okay, Man, I can't believe we have a 1988 Toyota Celica. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's uh, no you're my, not parfait. No my. <laughs> Dude, I mean, he's right. You're not parfait. And neither of you guys are parfait. Technically correct. I'm not sure why that's important, but he's correct. <laughs> the little, little name thing. Oh. We're getting we're getting people confused for cross-dimensional people. The streams are crossing. Can't escape from crossing streams. Can't escape from crossing. <laughs> oh, no. You set yourself up for that one. I did, but you you picked up on that quite beautifully, too beautifully actually. That was gross. <laughs> Ooh, right. we have Izanami versus Minatsume, and it'll be interesting to see like how this goes. I've, yeah, we saw. I don't know uh, how much Atlas has played Izanami because that character's super hard. He. He's played it quite a bit on stream, but who knows how much anybody's been playing CF like since the patch has come out. So we'll, we'll see if this is spaghetti or a real match. Yep. All right, sends out the projectile, just gets grabbed. Oh boy. 
It's basically my thing into the corner. Yeah, just a standard ladder combo, only 2.6. All right, has him in the corner now. Izanami's combos are started. I don't know what level of combos that was. Those look like some pretty good combos. Uh, definitely. You got buffalo bone combos for the corner. I like it. Back to spacing. Right back into range zero. Get off me. Woo! The Donkey yep. Special. I don't know why you want to charge that up. Maybe just because more invincibility, but like... Just a style on him. It's like, man, just press another one, please. Oh, ribcage is act. Oh, oh. that ribcage was depleted so fast by that my CCC. You're the enemy of ribcage is everywhere, my C. Enemy of a lot of people, my C's. Yep. Good block on like, crossing him over. All right, good throw tech. Atlas did not. Atlas did on a full stick of butter right here. Whoa, throw counter. Back throw, Atlas not knowing how to combo off his back throw. <laughs> and another wake up super by uh, Toyota Celica here. It's actually enough to put him at the space to just start chunking the spear. Actually got him the first round. Whoa. While well, letting the 2C rock with no, no jump cancel or anything, actually got him punished. Oh, that's a, that could be a cross-up. Goes into the projectile ender. Just kind of pushing his way back out of the corner, trying to push Atlas into it. Both players not really challenging each other in the air. They're just letting each other just be in the air as much as they want. They're just floating oh. there, menacingly. <laughs> They're up, backing up forwarding and just upping aggressively yep Ooh, and we see i was trying to get the anti airs that ducky getting in anyway overdrive through all right overdrive through it but can't punish all right stagger pressure here from ducky does not get anything off it alice is out of the corner but he's sitting on a full bar meter and almost no health oh drops the combo drops the combo can he punish this no doesn't know about the flip back oh no I just plays my. If anyone should know about the flip back, it should be him. It's true, but man, so sometimes you just forget. As when it when it's in the clutch and you're like, oh man, she's right there. This is why I punish. This is why I victory. Oh no, she's already flipped back. Oh no, I'm getting punished now. And now the my is up 1-0 in the set. No. How many big conversions coming out from yeah. uh, Daki, it would seem? But because Alice hasn't been able to get any of his full conversions, I need all of these like fatal combo, fatal, fatal counter starters that go into like a short conversion by Daki. It's getting him like the same amount of damage. Yeah. I mean, obviously, learning your best combos is always the way to go. But even with intermediate combos, you can take games. Well, for sure. Just having. Having enough of a combo to like be able to navigate the neutral, which Ducky yeah. is doing more than more than sufficiently here. Rib cage. Yep, rib cage is stupid. <laughs> rib cage is fair. That's just one of those moves. Balanced. There are a few things in Central Fiction that honestly make me salty. Rib cage <laughs> can make me salty sometimes, because that move just feels bad. <laughs> Just text through him. Okay, just oh. lying on the floor waiting to see what he'll do. Yeah, both players not really not really challenging the text much here either. They've both been able to roll into or out of uh, situations just fine. I could zoom with the five C. What's the Oki gonna be? It just dashes through him instead. Oh, oh that, that overhead, good block. All right, gets a counter hit. I don't think this will be different standard combo, but ends it a super. Just cashing out. Also gets him close to the corner. Yeah, gets him to the corner. Overhead. That's oh, the conversion. overhead. And the conversion. Small. One more mix up. He's not sitting on a full barrier. Is he going to use ribcage? <gasps> gets him with the homing projectiles. All right. This is match point here for Doki, however. We'll see if he can take it back or if we will go 1-1.
It's gonna be hard though. I was not sitting, so with no burst, probably for most of this round. Oh, dang! <laughs> well, Ducky has overdrive on deck, and now he's already in the corner. Just texts out. Woo! Fatal counter starter doesn't get the conversion. Let's nope. DC Rock. He gets punished. All right, empty jump into just five A. Okay, Alice poking out. Whoa! Just gets him with that move. I don't know what that was. That looked like a six C to me. Oh, no tech by Ducky. And I don't know if that was actually six C, so don't quote me on that. But it looked like a six C. Oh, rib cage. Rib, rib cage. Rib cage is just so hard to play against, and that's mm -hmm. one one Atlas. One one Atlas. Yeah, Atlas has one. And Toyota Selka has one. Mm -hmm. this, so to me, this is looking like a little scrambly. It's looking pretty scrambly. What do you think gives one player or the other the advantage going into this last game? I would say blunder better. Like, you get them in the corner and you have Oki, but people are, they're just doing like two or three moves on block before kind of just letting up pressure. Like, we'll see here. What's he going to do? Yeah, he just lets Atlas roll out of the corner for free. I think I'm with you there. I'd like to see them take more advantage of the corner situations. You yeah. thought it? But like, we see Atlas has a hit here. Okay, that doesn't really count because that, that, he just dropped that combo like five times in a row. But... Ooh. Oh, um, so we, oh no, definitely big combo. Ones. The other thing that would help the major is just learning or practicing combos, but it's a lot. Of, as long as you know the intermediate ones, you can do well. So mm -hmm. it's not like where we just have people pressing A, B, C, and that's the biggest combo they can do. Yeah, I really would. I think it really does come down to just like doing more with their pressure, as you you first said. Yeah. They're just letting each other roll, roll out of all these situations, not t punishing any of the rolls either. Yeah, or gets a grab. All right, knock Puts down. In the corner. Ooh, me instead of. I believe after char that charge spear, my is plus, but that charge, so. that charge dive kick. I believe so as well. <gasps> Overdrive. Eh? Overdrives, but that's too fast of a move. Ooh. Oh, tries to dash in. It's barely out of range. Gets fatal. Just rolls past the Mai, and we're back in neutral again. Okay, gets oh, this him. could be it. It's with the low. Yep, supers just cashes out, and they should kill. Oh, oh no! Just roll off. It's gonna use the use projectiles. Dang! I did not know the super ran out, or the invincibility ran out that fast. Because with the homing projectiles, Daki is doing it, having a pretty hard time blocking those. Oh my! This doesn't doesn't, doesn't teleport care to about the ground, the and just hits him with fire. No, that wasn't 5A because that was a fatal. 5C? Yeah, I think believe so. Throw counter. This is looking pretty dominant for Doki right now. Oh, another grab. As the American throw tech, though. That's yep. unblockable. Ooh. He did charge it all the way, but that would have been unblockable. Or maybe he pressed... Maybe he was just bashing D because... Oh, uh, yeah. If you redirect, it's no longer unblockable. Just runs through. It's time for Izanami. Atlas remembers that ribcage exists. Yeah, but now he's got very little barrier left and very yeah. little life. No burst left Gets him with the either. stagger pressure, though. He's going to have to make this Oki All situation right. count so much if he I don't like this. the super. I don't think he's numb gets good Oki off the super. Yeah, it just sets you back to neutral. I don't oh, like it. Oh, just puts himself in danger. Oh, I thought, I thought that Mai got that hit, but no. Corner combo? <gasps> Corner? And the setup and oh, the super big combo from Atlas. This puts him at equal health and back to neutral. But he's gonna throw him away instead of in the corner. He gets him with projectiles. Set... Does it again? Oh. At oh. Docky not knowing what to do and Atlas clutching it out. That's a really cool win post. Oh gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna no, lie. I love using Ami win poses. There, they're all pretty cool. All right, that was a close set. That was so close, man. That was what a crazy comeback by Atlas there too. Finally getting the combo, finally getting that corner conversion. Even right. though it looked a little bit dicey because he did what? that super and like What's lost the... the corner for it. Hold on, I'm gonna go look at the central fiction bracket real quick. Yeah, I believe you're about to go up, but uh, yeah, Atlas like gave up the corner situation. That so works for uh, for um, 
for Izanami, but I guess he just wanted to push him away, not let any of the crazy wake-ups happen, and just decided to keep it cool and use the projectiles. Now I am joined with... Uh... Call me red, I guess. Red? That's my red. color of the day. I change colors every time I come here. Dang, I like it. <laughs> because I was originally I was going by red, and then somebody at like my local Smash Bros. scene had red, and so I went by blue, and then someone here has blue already. So I just change it up now. Uh, Dang. Uh, just call him, oh, yes. call him chameleon. You gotta. Sad your match wasn't on stream. Yeah, I have your cord too. If uh, I can dig it out of my pockets. So who do we have up next? Also, I think. Uh, hmm? uh, I don't know. Okay. It might be freaks and geeks. You can always type exclamation mark Twitter in the in the chat uh, to see right. it. Dude, we've got all the commands. Here you you played a match? Uh yeah, I played um I played a mirror matchup with Hibiki. I, yeah, that was interesting. No, but shadows <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, shadows everywhere. Just Jump play people to... jumping. As soon as drops going left and right. Jump play to the to the theme of Hibiki. We got the mascot we here got... tonight, even though Heck yeah. Even though it might actually be the heart apocalypse. Just don't worry about that part. We're just gonna <laughs> it's supposed to be the Teddy Apocalypse. Yeah, but the Teddy Apocalypse got canceled. Oh, it's Heart Gang now. <laughs> Heart Gang. Why can you put this over? Yeah, I just put it in my lap. It makes a makes me look like a true fighting game player. You're, pl you're actually playing. Right yep. <laughs> you got to play it with stream delay. Oh dang! I can. <laughs> you got to think ten seconds ahead. It's okay. I'll find I'll find the flowchart character. <laughs> A B C D. Hope it works. <laughs> Susan Wu. Wait, Susan Wu. Oh, the Susan Wu. Yeah. I don't like any of this. Yeah, because he was standing there and he was like, "Make put my name like." Susano 69 and I'm like, Susano Wu, like, I like that more. Susano Wu. <laughs> oh no. Alright, but here you go, we have one of the, one of the vets of CF around, so one of the vets of Blaze Blue around these parts going up against Aegis. We'll see. <laughs> Ding. It's like, hey, I'm like, I'm like, make a deal with my left, I'm like, first time doing like, Thing. It made a made a good impression on you on uh, open game night. Wait, I mean I like games like that. Fun. Warriors games are pretty cool. I've played a little bit of Fire Emblem, but not anything else. So, no. which Fire Emblem? Like Fire Emblem, just, uh, just I mean, the Warriors. Ah. But I mean, I played all of a bunch of Fire Emblem oh, in general too. I see. So you know, that's how it is. So v, they got you. It's like, oh man, it's Fire Emblem. Uh, so game? despite being, being Susan Uwu, uh, he's going Tager <laughs> oh, yeah, against dude. the Lambda. One of the, one of his favorite, one of his more favorite char types of characters and yeah. one of his like pockets in this game. But Susan Uwu just like, he's pretty clean. So even yeah. though this isn't his main hill, you'll still get to see some stuff. The attack helicopter into the elbow. <laughs> The the people's elbow, <laughs> <laughs> the robot's elbow versus the spike combos that we have going on here. Yeah, ooh, good full conversion rate. Between Lambda and Hibiki, my main and my pocket are both here at this tournament. <laughs> Dang, that's pretty cool. So that's cool, I guess. Ugh, we got a lot of counters going here. finger, and uh, just all the magnetism procs. Oh, good block, and I was still getting himself out of the corner too. Oh, not this time. Uh, not today. People elbow. The corner changes again. Elbow? Oh my goodness. How how can one man have so much elbow? <laughs> have you seen those manly elbows? I don't want to, man. The very sight of them. The super make armor. me cry. They magnetize it into the command grab. Man, that command grab is so fast, too. The A1. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's so good. 
Ooh. Ooh. Grab him out of the super armor. Hey, good answer. I feel like Lambda has that option just because she can dash up really fast and then grab. Yeah. So that's something you could probably abuse in this matchup. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, big counter big confirmed. Mix up, good block, stays on the ground. <laughs> oh. That was funky. Funky things happen around Tager. Right? Magnetism. How do magnets work, truly? Honestly, no idea. <laughs> Blocks. Not really liking how Aegis is playing this one out. He's playing it spaced out, doesn't want to get himself put into the grappler vortex. Right. I mean, that's the way to do it. If you get magnetized, then it can very quickly spiral out of your control, so... For sure, and just like that, it just has to burst out. Yep, just burst out. Gotta keep playing it safe. Keep up the sword pressure. Ooh. Oh no, big spark bolt. Finger. Oh no! Oh, is, here comes the weird Is he gonna time reset. him out? Is he gonna get the time? Oh no, he drops it. Oh. Yeah, that's always so weird. It's like... You stay in the air forever, and at some point, he can always just let you come to the ground, or you just fall to the ground anyway. The Tango yeah. player doesn't need to know. <laughs> All you need to know is that it's Americana reset, and now Susan Wu is up 1 0 in the set. Yeah. Ooh, the fatal, though. Oh, man. This could be big. Oh, but he's just going to get the swords. Still a lot of damage off of that. But... 3.4, and gets him like, closer to the corner. Whoa! It is playing Ooh. a lot more aggressive this time around. For sure. Just going in with these. Two, three, six C's. Mm. That burst was funky. Yeah. At least it didn't get punished. Jumps. The, oh, the double <gasps> wedge driver. Just trying to catch him on the invincible move. Whoa, Whoa! Aerial things. He went in and then the overhead brought him back. And so he didn't get <laughs> grabbed. Dude, all that help that Aegis is missing right now, like, both from just Spark Bolt. Well, you have to be careful against Tager, too, because one distortion and Aegis is just dead. Oh, yeah. So, so we'll probably see him. Tager comebacks <gasps> can always happen. Probably this see him play a Layman just like that. Yeah. Frustrated combos. Oh, two, three. He's out of heat now. Overdrive. Hmm. Like really scaled it out and then And the overhead. The overhead. Age is laughing in the <laughs> laughing in the <laughs> camera over there. It's a fun fun little combo to have to endure, but as you said earlier, I really like when Ages is playing back and like threatening with the dash in. Got him like so much yeah. mileage. Lambda earlier. can get super ooh, the air grab. That was spicy. Stuff so, just tucking in the air. Oh, no. I was so sure he was going to try to air grab him there. I think Spark Bolt on deck. Spark Bolt is yeah, always <laughs> scary because that happens and then... And you lose all your health, you lose your burst, and yeah. now you're... And now he's magnetized, so... And he's in, and in the corner. Oh, no. Is that... Nope, not quite. He's just gonna astral... Astral, but it's a command oh, grab! Oh, no. The command grab. Actual command grabs. Feels sad, man. Feels sad, man. Everybody out in the tournament room just having a big, big old laugh. Yeah. Big old meme that round was. Any ma Taker match is just a meme. Oh, like, yeah. Taker's a meme. He's a walking meme. Walking magnet of memes. <laughs> he just attracts memes to him. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> But that will be Susan Uwu moving, advancing in the bracket. Next up, we'll have. So red, you were up. Awesome. Ding, we'll have red. Going up. Now they're gonna <coughs> exchange. Hello. Oh boy, now we got JT, so now it's time to talk about gotchas instead oh, of tournament. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's exactly uh, what we need to do, and we need Bobby to update the uh, the streams. I, I actually, so I really like 
that red and parrot have to keep swapping off controllers yeah it's like been the been the funner part of looking off to my right it's been like oh boy one has to go so the other has to grab the give them the controller exactly it's just like you got if you're if you're bro like they're brothers so like oh. share the same controller and stuff makes sense yeah i'm not a spookster Yeah, I know there is. <laughs> Dude, but there's Teddy in the chair now. Teddy is eternal. Praise be Teddy. But the thing is, I thought I I honestly thought today. Oh, huh. waiter. No. No. I'm supposed to commentate apparently. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to? You, you know what I'm gonna do though? He's gonna pull right here in front of us. Which, and but get into uh, the nice oh, oh, Get baited. No. You thought you were playing a gacha game. You were playing Inventory Simulator. But also, we got Coco Puffs versus Hibiki. Hibiki. Uh, Are you trying to commentate this match? Uh, I was told I was commentating. I don't know if I actually am. No. No. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, Parrot. All right, Red versus Comfy. Some more winner side action. Very, like a much bigger. Uh, Bigger side bracket than we usually have. Yeah, so. it's, we, we've gotten like um, ten people, and started off with the Hibiki dash in. Oh, it jumps into the fireball. Yeah, but we got Magnetrons. Having not seen Red play before, but if he's still in winners, I believe he's got to have the stuff. Not even, oh. not even doing the uh, the banner. Oh wait, was that your uh, Mystic? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I'll do the main mystic later. You got corner combos, corner pressure, the cross mix. through. Cross through? He's gonna let her cross off. Up. Yep. Yep. Just one of my favorite things to do in this game is just be like, I have my distortion. I have, like, I got um, active flow, and I got distort. I love Whoa. that super. It's mm. so good. Dude, some of the things. Like, from the Guilty Gear bracket, right? One of the things I've noticed, like, really, really catches Comfy off is if, like, his setup, his up-back setup, it gets, is threatened by some sort of super or some type of attack that can, like, beat out both the projectile and still hit uh, Comfy himself. Then Hibiki, Hibiki can do that as we can. Hibiki is saw. great at that. Ooh. The overhead. Basketball combos? Oh, drops no, it. This but... is the... Misses the two three sixty. Well, it drops a combo, but the mix still lives. The the bomb kind of screwing it up, but it's right, so another bomb. Super Tra goes for the aerial and then does not let it rock. Oh, oh but the JC. The oh man, what is that? Two one four C. I believe so. I uh, know it's two one four AC. Really good answer by Red there. It's like, oh man, you're trying to up back in my face? Nah. He big he got an aerial command grab. Here you go, second round. That's my that's the one combo I know about Hibiki. It's just like bounce him up, bounce him down, and then it ends with that. And I love that. I do Hibiki's cool. Hibiki is cool. I want Hibiki in a tag. <laughs> There's our Hibiki color for Seth right now. The corner pressure gets hit by the overhead. And that is that. That's a perfect. Wow. Yep, very dominant. That's a very comfy round by uh, Dubs up there. He seemed pretty comfy. A little bit. He's a little comfy right there. Red's able to. Now, he, now he's out. He, I think he's fine. Finally playing he finally got. <gasps> oh yeah, but the good grab. Oh, and the <laughs> he, catching the tech. He plays. He's he's Parrot's brother. Oh god! Oh, and the pickup off the counter hit. Red really close to getting that corner, but now he's getting pushed back. Oh, good answer on that fireball wall. Yeah, he he just. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna shadow clone through you. Here it is. Here's the corner. Let's see if Red's able to. 
Yo, to block this incoming mix, what's for breakfast? Got the Magnetron. Uh, yep. That that was the press the button against me. I dare you, mix. For sure. You gotta be very aware when the lightning's down like that. You have to be aware of so many things because, you know, Kokonoe could always just grab you prior to the lightning. Could just cross you up. But I decided to challenge and. Lightning happened. Ready. Whoa! Both players, very aggressive start, blocks the cross through. I will say, uh, his, like, Red Sibiki is a little aggressive. Like, I haven't seen really seen a time where he actually uses the clone as just, like, a poke out. He always, he seems to be always taking the, uh, the clone. Yeah, he seems, like, like, very confident in his ability to, like, get the clone out in such a way that he's, like, getting through a projectile or, like, getting through some sort of Kokonoi, uh, setup. Yeah, now we got comfy drink. Yeah, rapiding oh. to do the uh, big the counter overhead. hit. Not close enough to the corner for the corner combo though. <laughs> Whoa! Corner combo with the basketball and dunk. What's the mix? Just hills Whoa. low. This could be pretty bad. Yep, that's the combo. Super um, into a super, uh, that won't just do. not enough. Super ball through hello overhead the metered invincible stuff. Not actually, man. Doing I it, love huh? Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan's pretty neat. Oh, Shadow Clone not working out there. Over to the corner. Oh, good poke, just going right underneath the 6A. Oh yeah, so I'm hearing from the side the DLC bracket is live. Probably gonna be seeing most of that off stream though. This is really dangerous. Really close to the corner there. Just poking his way out. Good barriering by Red. Ooh, good. It drops it, but. Yeah, oh, there's that lightning. Flies into it. Both players sitting on just about the same amount of overdrive meter, too, going into the final round here. Whew. Yeah, see, he always takes the clone. Yeah, it's pretty pretty aggressive, and it's gotten him caught a number of times, but it's also getting him out of a lot of those setups. Like, yeah, it kept him away from the Graviton. It's kept him, like, kind of closer to Kokonoi's face, which is a good place to be when, uh, like, she doesn't have the greatest up-close options. 3C's not going to do too much at that range. Rapid overhead just bursts it through. Points of Ooh, combat, and then... Down with a button. Oh, JC is such a good button. And now get caught in the graviton. Oh, trying to shimmy. Stand. Yeah, that was just. He was just in the graviton. He just had to set. It was just like, you're going to stand here and you're going to figure out what I'm going to do. Yeah, he yeah, tried to, to button his way through, try to button his way out, which probably would have worked if he tried to challenge us a little bit sooner. But when he actually pressed it, uh, Kofi Dubstep was on the back part of the, you know, walk forward, yeah. walk back shimmy, causing that button to whiff and. Covey just uh, converting off of the whiff punish. Yep. But really good showing by both players there. Yeah. You know, the corner mix, the a lot of really good answer to the pressure. Yeah, every uh, single time. Oh, and we're going to get Susanoo versus Atlas. Wow. Oh. The one, the only, the whale himself. Yeah, the one who will never talk about just how much he spent in... Uh, spent in... Epic 7. Epic 7 for your girl Dizzy. Never. He yes. did get it. He sparked it. Right. And you might have spent money from like the beginning of the spark, but you know, don't worry about all that. Don't worry about any of that, guys. Just worry about the Susano versus Izanami. Just know that Atlas is now broke, but he's still spending money. <laughs> yeah, he, he has to. He has to win just to get the gas money to go back home. This yeah. is, this is do or die for Atlas here. 
He's got a pretty tough opponent, Susan. And if he plays, if Alice plays like he did earlier, he's gonna take so much damage. So if he just lets all of his barrier rock and gets put into danger mode, oh boy. That's gonna hurt. But then again, when you're against someone like Susano, everything hurts. And you just have to play the please don't touch me game. Overheads. And the Atlas special overhead once again, an overhead. Ooh, nice set up. Oh, and Susanu just And this is the point up. where Parrot or Susanu is just gonna do all but like the last like third of his health. Text through though. Wow, I can't believe Susanu actually just let that happen. Corner combo. What's the mix? Oh, he's just gonna go into an active float uh, distortion drive. Ugh. Not, not enough. Not, not just uh, not enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's he tried to wrap it to make it so that wouldn't happen, but Atlas just throwing him out and getting the first round. Yeah, it's just like, hey, it's, it's at that point, it's just like, I am going to cage. And you are, go and I am going to walk up and hit you. But speaking of walk up and hit you, oh boy. Oh boy. Susano thinks letting him tech out again. Ugh. Command grabs. Whoa, combo without the, uh, without the rapid? Alright. Whoa, no, that's weird. Been a perfect, uh, what an answer by Parrot. Peridu, 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 Imagine you were reading a post, oh, but the more you read it, the worse the glamour becomes up into a point where it's I don't know Oh no! Oh no! But speaking of utter nonsense, Susan knows damage. Peridu showing no more respect. Man. Is that what the subtitle is for tonight? No respect? Not quite. I, th I think it is actually just the heart apocalypse. Yeah, and that was a double perfect for <laughs> Susanu to take that first. And oh, double perfect no. actually crashes the game. Oh no. Oh no. Throw that back to us. Go. Oh no. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Bro Parrot the... giving me time to actually tweet out that we are alive. What a pal. We're live at Freaks and Geeks. Dude, yeah. Susano just is so good. He bricks the game when he gets a double perfect. That reminds me of the time at Texas Showdown where there was an Iron Man and Marvel Free coming back and the game just bricked itself because there's no sectors for an Iron Man comeback. D! Oh. No! No! That's, That's unfortunate. Pretty much lose the run back. That's unfortunate. Marvel. Marvel's unfortunate. Perfects are unfortunate. And we're getting back into the game again. Paired up 1 0 here in the set. With hashtag BBCF action. Check us. And if you got the time, it's a low. And. It's not low. You're just gonna get caught by a uh, by a five. Yeah, here's the reason you want to play Susano. Do you want do you want to not play neutral and just find one hit and then do a third of their health? Because that's exactly what happens every single time. That's it. That's kind of like like uh, see if it can be a very like three hit in game especially when one gets like really really good openers and you know parrots when anytime parrots on he always talks about like you really got to have your combos and that just like helps you be ahead of the curve so much so he takes his own advice he's got the combos yeah, that's like, that's one. Oh, oh no uh, and that's a 2-0 <sighs> I didn't actually realize that the first round had happened because I pressed, I pressed tweet whenever it said game and like made sure it tweeted out. 
Woo! Yikes. See? Speaking of yikes, you know what's a good thing to drink after a nice match in a tournament? Or... Some coffee. Brought to you by Golden Boy Coffee Company. We're located right next to the store. The store being Freaks and Geeks, located at 1807 North Elm Street, Denton, Texas. 78, 7862 something or other. 76201. Right. The, this is the power of Teddy. This guy. Yeah, the, our green screen is a little weird right now. Yeah, it's kind of a hole. No, even the I think it's something to do with the lighting. Oh, but are the, you talking about the, uh, the pixely. No, no, that has, that's camera. That's camera. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Oh, the camera got it's just the result of uh, all the shenanigans from Friday. Dang. Dang. Jack Russell himself. Jack Russell, the laundry man. <laughs> and his. And his 1988 Toyota Celica. In the sky. <laughs> Look, just finish the sellout already. Well, it, it's cool. We got video games and a lot of other stuff here. I think from anywhere from comics to toys to a few um, anime things, including but not only wall scrolls and uh, figurines. Not a lot of figurines, but there's some. So, um, small selection and, of manga and... Yeah. Uh, DVDs as well. And then we also have tournaments, Wednesdays, anime, uh, Wednesdays are anime fighters, uh, Thursdays are smash nights for smash ultimate, Fridays are cross dimensional freaky riders, which fly over here runs. Oh, um, run. what's going to be this week? Uh, this week is second seven. And I think it's, I still need to talk to Nate. I'll be back tonight. We'll, we'll probably be doing like Marvel three and, uh, DBFZ. All right. Oh, DBFC. That's a, that's gonna be a fun yeah, one. That's that's the idea. I'm gonna talk to Nate about it. It's gonna be a fun one. But yeah, uh, yeah. And that's a Saturday thing. That's those are the tournaments. We also have other stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh on Tuesdays, uh, Dragon Ball Super, and Pokemon on Sundays. And if you're ever here for a tournament, you can go ahead and go over to Golden Boy Coffee, which is right next door to us. Tell them you're here, and you get ten percent off your order. So thank you, Golden Boy Coffee, for helping support the store and be a friend. Mm -hmm. I'm not they, even sure if they're sponsoring us. They're just a friend of the store. Yeah, at least. just a friend of the store. And thanks to Freaks and Geeks for hosting us. Yeah. Very always nice to have such a nice venue here in Denton. Yeah, just, just show up. To you. If you show up to anything, talk. Don't be afraid. Talk to some people. Make some friends. You can get and uh, it's it's a really nice place. The scene's slowly but surely growing. We have a lot. Nice. We have a lot. We got a large amount of people tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about that, personally. <laughs> I am too. It's like we got a ten-person CF bracket. I don't know how many is in the the two tags, because I'm not in CF right now. I haven't played that game in actually months. That was so sad. I wanted to get here, show off this sick light you I've been working on. But I actually woke up at like five thirty. So solid. Now, we were like, okay, so like. I was I got up and Jay was uh comfy dubs up. He was he was doing labbing. Let's go see losers matches now. Losers matches? Alright. So we're, all right. we're gonna probably have all of the rest of CF on stream. See, all of CF on stream and then going over to tag. Yeah. Okay, your eye is super red. I know my left eye is super red. Okay. I don't know why. It doesn't it doesn't hurt. It just is super red. Uh, that's Dude, a big you're just you're just that happy you're, to you're, play Weiss again. Clay said that his my brain became so big with the Wolfstein plays I made. That it's just burst me out of my eyes. You are you actually just like you unlocked the Sharingan. So yeah, where, where's Clay? See you see here tonight? Nah. No, I he wanted to come, but he lives at home now, so it's a lot harder for him to get here. Yeah, and yeah, Atlas a... Atlas doesn't um isn't home until the twenty seventh. Oh, Dang, everybody getting outplayed. So once Atlas is back in his home home, not Atlas where Prime? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, his home home. Atlas yeah. Cloud? Yeah, once Atlas is back in Flower Mound, then he'll be able to give Clay rides. Okay. Dude, so we got two faces oh, oh, unfamiliar yeah. to myself. I have fought my toasts before at uh Dallas Sports. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we got a Hibiki and a Nauto. Hibiki and Nauto, alright. Yeah, mitosis is an auto, and no, me mitosis is the hibiki. Mitosis versus I Icarus. Dang, dude, I'm liking all these new tags. Blue on blue character action. 
Man, okay, I've been, I was playing a lot with Lance earlier, and he was just decided to play some Nauto, even though he doesn't play him in a tag, and I'm like, you're, you're just running up and DPing. I mean, that's how you play the character, but like, you're just doing that over and over again. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, dude, things. Hibiki's, Hibiki's so cool, man. I I really want Hibiki in tag. Dude, That's so Zuda drop again. Rapid for a combo just gets bursted. Guys, yeah, not gonna have a burst for this next combo. Dang, these all these short. Oh, never mind. That's not short. That's a full conversion. Oh, and Bates he, out. yeah, baits out the DP and Jash back in and gets the kill. Woo. Yikes. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. A very good good coverage by Mitosis, but this time Rickers getting the first first big hit. <sighs> yeah, Nato really ha would have a little bit of a trouble getting into someone who is like really oppressive and he be not in the most oppressive wise, but he has a lot of options to be oppressive. Oh, tries to fan a pain through, but this is a little bit too far. It's actually already through him. Now he's getting punished for it. Oh, he yeah, drops the combo. Hibiki combos are cool. Oh, just letting 60 rock. 60, button you never want to press unless it's a part of a combo, but even then, you probably still don't want to press it. And oh, grab a drop. The salt boss burst. is here. Into the oh, corner. No. Oh man. And a sir drop finish. Yep. Even if the Zuna drop wasn't enough, he had more than enough meter. Ended off in a variety of weight of ghosts. Two one nice. Let's go. Oh nice. D. Let's, Let's go. go. Rip. D. That's gonna be a cool match. Hopefully. Hopefully. They were. Yep. Yeah, no, I Blows. Zuna drop. They all these Hibikis coming out today, and like, man, do not try to jump on me. I am. I will grab you. <laughs> I will grab you and drop you. Finally getting a hit and then getting bursted on. Hey, guess what? You're getting dropped. Guess Grass. what? You're getting dropped. Catching him Stop. out of the drive, too. Stop no! jumping. Let me get my game go. DP. Yeah, with that in mind, I'd really like to see uh, Icarus maybe stick to the ground a little bit more. He's getting. My toast is getting so much mileage off of just a drop. Overhead. Drop. That, uh. It might just be worth just staying on the staying on the ground, just using some more of Nauta's buttons. <gasps> DP. Sort of record, not punished. He got the short conversion. Even Hibiki's short conversion gets quite a bit of corner carry. So nice anti here. Oh boy, Nauta things. Ah, oh, just uh, that part of it. Oh man, nice and, rapid to make it that safe. Oh, and the overhead that was what f 6b, 4b. Whoa. <gasps> Staying on the ground and punishing the Azuna drop bionic arm. Whoa! Blood then that's arm again. dead. No, it's not. Oh, oh no! Just missed it. Rapid. Yep. Just enough. It's two zero for mitosis there. Yep. I was starting to get really, really competitive during the last couple of rounds there. Yeah. Once, uh, once Icarus had, sorry, had, had to go against his name, but he just stuck to the ground. He just needed to not jump, because every time he would jump, like, Mitosis was already in the air grabbing him. Yep. And that is not what you need to do. For sure not. Your Hibiki has a lot of power and control in the air. Not because, not only because 
what like his two one four throw puts him in the air naturally but he has that command grab he has cl he has the child clones that he can use in air and can use to like if he can do it from range or he can teleport with it there's a lot of stuff he can do to control just stay on the ground and on the ground he has the mixes of of, of overheads of jump like of straight up standing overheads jumping overheads lows mixes on its own like that's where he has a lot of power as long as his opponent is on the ground and he has the ability to make him stay there. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like we're going to winner's finals. Sadly, you won't get to see Aegis versus Red. They go up. No. Yeah, sadly we won't be able we're, to see we're that. We're watching Comfy Dubstep play with some settings right now. Yes. Dang, Dang that's that's, that's like, toxic, Bobby. Like, wow. <laughs> Jesus. This is in there is no toxicity in this stream room. We are all loving people who appreciate each other and want only the best for one another. So parrot's one of the. That was that's a dirty lie, by the way. <laughs> It's one of the commentators, and even though he's not a villain when he's commentating, he's got to be the villain. Now that we've officially started okay. season three, yeah, this is the this, this is the official start. This right? is the this official isn't start. The, the OVA starter. No, yeah. Well, even if it was the OVA starter, this is the even official this is, start. Even if it is the episode three. zero of season three, it's still a season three. So yeah. Now, now Parrot is officially the villain. Yeah, he is now officially the villain. The last arc was him becoming it and now and revealing that he is the villain and now he is still there. Yep. And everybody's uh Teddy isn't that toxic. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. He's not toxic cuz he we won't even see him all that much tonight except for by yep. Lance. <laughs> yeah, Lance, Lance will do it. And also during maybe during the DLC only stuff. Yeah. We'd, we'd see that if that was on stream, but I'm I'm guessing it's all I'm guessing it's going to be not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually entering it. I've actually entered into a tournament tonight. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Just to just a DLC only? Or? I'm doing uh, both tags. Because uh, my team is DLC only. It's messed up. And here we go. We've got Susan Uwu versus Platinum the Trino. Uh, Wooly Step. Oh, we got Comfy... comfy Ooh, comfy Lalu, Lisa. Comfy step. Air dash back and air dash back. Swallow moon still gets hit. Overheads and just counters out. Very interesting that Comfy is going with the platinum here. Maybe because he doesn't want to play the Kokonoe against this thing. Yeah, but in in months past, he's been opting to go the Kokonoe specifically for this matchup. So, wondering what has changed. Maybe he just doesn't want to think that hard. <laughs> oh my goodness, every counters. Because, like, he, okay, he, he's not necessarily in the best mindset for CF. He didn't, hasn't been practicing. He's been a lot in the tag mindset. So maybe, so maybe Platinum being a little bit of a gorilla would be nice. CF DP, just the low. No mix, just low. Whoa. Oh yeah, but this is winner's file, so it will be best of five. Or best of... Yeah, best of five. I was right. Uh, uh, uh. To the mm -hmm. corner with ye. What's the pr yeah. what's the answer by paired here? Pressing after neutral jump. Good stuff. Press a button. Who just tries to wait the counter out, but it's, um, it's a pretty long one. Oh. And again, the neutral jump. Take him to the corner. Rapid cancel burst. Yeah, this is this will the next mix won't actually be the end of it because I'm 100% guessing Parrot will absolutely burst it just so he has a chance. Well, for sure. It's a round point for Comfy here, but oh, just super stir. It doesn't have the meter to make it safe. This goes over to the other side. I mean. <laughs> He knew he was going to get hit, so he might as well be like, you know what, well, let's see what happens. He got hit. 
Either way, uh, Parrot, 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 otherwise known as Susan, he is sitting on that burst still. So this is all be a little bit of a of a hard match for Comfy. Yeah, not especially one. if he gets hit. Yeah, he's already unlocked a number of hits, and the next hit he'll probably overdrive it. That's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, and Comfy dropping the combo, and now he's protected by the present. Corner set up by Comfy now. Whoa, no barrier. There's burst the burst. Away. Now, th at this point, Comfy is in a pretty decent spot against him, especially with that hit. Yeah, now he has his drive back. Yeah, just just get out of that early. Oh, the six. But it doesn't help if you just up. get hit. Especially now that I'm pre oh no drops out. He's got the Grab. oh no no and no verse available. First round going to parrot. S ooh, power and <laughs> central fiction once again crashing. Parrot is not allowed to win. I guess. I wonder if it's the disc. I wonder if something like has happened to the CF disc. It's a, it's a possibility because it's only happened with. Seuss no winning. Dude, the Seuss. Yeah, the Seuss no data is corrupted. I mean, that would make sense lore wise. <laughs> Ding. We need a different disc. We need to put in. We need to put Teddy in uh, Central Fiction. Oh, you know what? That would be an interesting. Not, Makes Teddy a CF character. They, they've got their Teddy. They've got Arakune. They don't need another one. Whoa, the bullet pick. Wait, <laughs> wait, Susanoo? <laughs> now Comfy's cursor was just on, on the bullet, bullet somehow. As he was going down to fix his buttons. Dang, I, I'd take the bullet. This... Hey, bullets. Bolt, bolts, bolts, cool. 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 Calm, no, cool. Not necessarily for the reasons of the game, but she's cool. I just like think. I think she's pretty cool even in she has some inter interesting things that she can do with her drive but like yikes all right here we go. oh my here we go aggressive star by parrot that we'd imagine oh counter hit trying to press a button on the way down that is not how it goes oh i really like that dash back right parrot just like kind of threatening with his range oof Ugh. Yeah, Comfy's uh, Comfy's sitting on some uh, next touch kills. Yeah, like I said. Oof. And overdrive for Comfy. Very, very low right now. So I have to not get hit by Susan Uwu damage for at least a little bit now. Oh, tries to go for the tick grab, but too far after the barrier block. The good pick up. Picks him up, tosses him, and that's a burst. We'll go all the way to the other side. A little far away, but we've got the ring to make it all safe. Goes right over the sword. Like, just misses the full swing. Oh, man. Stood up the block and went, like, stood back down. Stood back down. Crouched again. <sighs> the Susan. It's the, Su it's the Susan data, man. Get a different disc. Honestly, it's just Susan O. I don't think we do. So we've got we've got my copy. <laughs> Man, he's the best actor. So man, it was a very, very dominant game too by Parrot there. What do you uh, what say you JT? How can Comfy get back into this? I don't know, dude. <laughs>
I was I thought in, my, in the back of my mind I'm like he could play Coconut Way but, uh, but then he doesn't Why would he be playing Susano then? He, there wouldn't be, if there was a family friendly truce, Parrot would be playing Tagger. Oh, check your buttons. They might have been ready for it the first time. No one's ready for the second CF crash. One of the dude, Waddle, you're always written in. The the chat is a very important part of the. Of the Freaks and Geeks show. Here we go. Round three. Oh, man. Yeah, the chat. Overdrive. Yeah, the chat is like in those anime where there's just a council of faceless people. <laughs> That's what the chat is. So if we have the names for the chat. Like, they're, they're faceless, but they have a name on there. Yeah. Does it, and it... And it's your guess whether to, they're actually important to the plot or not. <laughs> they're just there. Oh. Speaking of just being there, That's Comfy a little, isn't. A lot of damage. A lot of lot of stuff happening there. I'm guessing both players. No, um, Parrot used his used his overdrive. I'm, did Comfy burst? No way. Like he wouldn't he have did. it. He wouldn't have that much already then, right? Or he bursted very early. Maybe. So yeah, uh, Susano is cursed. Dude, it's the it's the disc, man. Susano data on that disc is uh, messed up. Slash. We got some bombs. Oh, Ugh. oh, and tries to get the slash in, but you know what? I'm just gonna block it. Yeah, possibly could have worked if there was another bomb, but uh, Comfy had already spent all the bombs. Another burst is gonna jump the sword, counter hit. Not ready for the, not ready for the burst though. Will crush trigger. Good grab, grab bubble, bubble, and super him. Hey, that's one. I, I I support it. Yeah, okay. Showing signs of life once signs again. Of... <laughs> this is oh. a persona. <laughs> oh, and the anti-air answering the double jump presser. Oh, the see no conversion though. Ooh, just runs up grabs. And the tick grab, that's gonna bring back a lot of Susan Ooh's burst. Trying to bait out the burst, but he just overdrives. Whoa, overdrive, DP rapid, Excel exceed. No more, no more overdrive for you. Bat, bombs. Kobe. Oh, and the oh, okay. circular it wasn't supposed to come out every time. We know it's supposed to be blocks high. Oh, it's clipped, but living on a pixel. No and buttons. That's that. Oh, just the tap. Two one. Two, Two one. Coffee dumps up almost having to pay with his lifeblood after missing that swallow moon, but staying alive though. It didn't crash because Susano didn't win. Yeah, the, the Susan win data is just not there anymore. Okay. On the corner stuff. Into the other present, but now he just pushes them out of the corner. Oh, the fatal, and I'm so surprised Parrot opts to burst there. Like, he's he has so much comeback potential if he keeps the overdrive. And 
you, like, you know, Susan's got a lot of damage, but he's got to make up quite a bit of ground. Man, that overhead. It's actually not. I really don't believe the cat hammer is actually an overhead. It's just a really big button. It's just a big button. It looks. I mean, it definitely looks like an overhead. So right. because of what it is, it really looks like one. But it's just the. But just be. But you know, it's a fighting game. Just because it looks like it doesn't mean it is. Oh, for sure. There are many times it's like, hey, this looks like it's a overhead. It's just a mid. <laughs> or this looks like an overhead. It's a low. <laughs> Oh, it gets the single present out of time. Uh, missing the dash, dash A getting the booty bump instead. Or dash button getting booty bump instead. Whoa! Corner to carry. Oh, and counters through the. Counters through the overhead and rapids to get a combo. The barrier's broken. He has the bubble. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Let's see. Ped's got his bursts again. Oh, DP rapid. Oh, he's gotta be ready for for the option select. Yeah, instead of like I could burst again, or I could just kill him. Yep. They still he uses his overdrive to like get that situation to happen. So he'll be out of. He'll be out of his burst for a little while in this last round. This is still match point for set point for Susanoo. Three pans in a row. The corner. Going back in the corner. And oh. the overhead, that's not it just yet, but I think the next touch will do it. So neither player has a has a burst. It's gonna be quite a bit of damage. Drops it, but no tech by Susanoo. Oh, threatening the pan. Oh, oh, trying no. to press again after the gorilla. And the Ashel to set it all off. Gotta turn off the device. This might this Ashel might be the only way we actually make it back to the character select screen. We'll, we'll was about to see. And Hey, I think we did it. There it is. We actually did it. And we do still get to see Red vs. Ages. What is this? Is this, uh, Losers? Is this Loser Summits? Uh, Losers Quarters. Losers Quarters? Taunt. Kevin's just having a good time. He's, he's, he's still in that heart gang mindset, though. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We've got Hibiki versus uh, versus Lambda. He just has a little bit of experience with this matchup, but probably not against as good of a Hibiki. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that if he's able to threaten threaten the approach so much. Oh yeah, undercover FBI. Yeah. Nice. Hello, Sabrina. How are you doing? No. Oh. To the corner. Now we've got unreal corner. Hibiki things doesn't get the doesn't get the corner stuff, but actually kind of threatens. Man, that was the first time I've seen uh, <laughs> Red use shadow and not go through with it. He did it in the corner as a pressure. Whoa. Active flow for Aegis here. Good blocks by Red. Aegis deciding yeah, to burst out. out. Ooh. Overdrive Shadows misses, but picks it up with the low anyway. First round to, first round to Red there. Yeah, that was, this was so nice. That combo is so nice. Just getting Hibiki like a little bit of everything that he needs, just a little bit of damage, and like a little bit of corner carry without having to do too too much. Double basketballs. Take grab to oblivion. Shadow clone combos. 
Big glow. Let's see what Aegis can do with this. He's able to get out of the corner. Anti-air swords. Oh. And there it is. Using the sword to get right underneath Aegis there. 1-0 red. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, cool. Is it my roundup? I'm not here to replace anybody. I'm just here to see the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Got some heapy key things in the corner. Burst is out. A lot of damage already tacked on to Aegis here. Both well, just kind of like. grab. We got <sighs> swords. No full no. conversion. And, and then... don't jump against Tabiki. Oh my goodness, the damage drops it. The Azuna <laughs> drop reset. Dude, you know, maybe maybe that's why, like, Parrot, Parrot and this guy are both been getting blue beaded. They both, if they play each other, they both have things specifically to destroy up, uh, teching in the air. It's good to finally get the lore at the beginning of Season 3 of Freaks and Geeks. We Wednesday. Oh man, the yeah. corner combos the damage. The, oh, the overhead! Which just has to burst out. Oh. This is his tournament life here. Oh my God. Overdrive. Let it rock. Let it, let it go. Nice. So <laughs> Not. Cool that's, not it, that's not even his like overdrive super. Yeah. That's just the cool super. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah. that's All just, the super is Yeah, cool he's, got, he's got a projectile that goes into that. He's got literally one that teleports him onto you. If only they were listening to Hibiki's theme. Right? Oh. Yeah, but that was that. <laughs> and I think I have a match to go play, so. Right. Who do we got here? We got Red versus Mitosis? We've got Hibiki versus Naoto. How's it going? No. Is Hibiki versus Hibiki? Is that what it is? I believe so. The Hibiki mirror? <gasps> Whoa! Subaki. Subaki Aoi. That's a character I don't see ever. Like, I don't see anyone play this game here in Denton because, like, there are, like, all of four or five of us that play it. <laughs> but then these new faces come up. They're playing Subaki, dude. You know how hard this character is to play? Dude. I didn't know she existed. <laughs> She's got like crazy touch of death stuff so you can do it. How do you like like one or two frame links? It's the oh, good stuff, huh? Trying to charge at the beginning and mm -hmm. Red just not letting it go down. Dang. Oh, not tech. Oh, hold the tech, bro. Or maybe he was watching out for the, <laughs> the, the reset. And aerial stuff, man. Yes. <gasps> Big counter hit, not able to convert. Oh, another but they overhead. Go red. Dang. Ooh. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't take the shadow. <laughs> the low. It's an overhead. It's everything. Jesus. Oh, it doesn't get the combo wow. though. <gasps> that looks like an overhead. I swear. Oh my! Look at this pressure, dude. Zuvaki things. Whoa! That Izuna drop was so high up. <laughs> Whoa! The shimmy. Dude, Red is on fire right now. He's running off the momentum of the last set. Oh yeah, and man, this is crazy. <laughs> Did this man? That was pretty. That was, pretty, that was something. I tech. You you teching? No, dude, you cannot hold tech against this guy. Oh, oh good just DP. DPs. No more. Ooh, and a full co uh, Subaki combo. Oh, sick anti-air. Did I think Subaki combos look so cool? Ooh, it caught the roll there. Subaki looks cool. This, a lot of characters look cool, even if they go, don't get played or on these parts. Dude, this is a cool game. <laughs> I love cool, this game. This is a cool game. Even though all fighting games all unanimously suck. Yeah. But, you know, oh. some suck in cool ways. Look at this damage, dude. The whoa threatens that reset again. <gasps> Ooh, that's a really risky fireball. Oh, button five V. Whoa! Oh my God, hitboxes. 
He must have sucked something out. That was like, that was so far away. I play, I play my hurt box into your <gasps> hit box. Oh my! <laughs> There's some crazy stuff going on in DP. this game. Oh, try to press. Good block. No, no. <laughs> Anti airs. Dude, my toast is not getting the the room to charge up Subaki meter, but it's okay. She doesn't need it. I'm sure he'd kind of like any of it. Bananas! Uh, got the conversion? Almost. <gasps> oh. Trying to get it under my toes is there. Up to just let that raw. Oh, Good over in his face. See what's going to go on. He's going to drop. Yep. Soon to drop. Rapid combo. Does he have this kill? Okay. I was so close. <gasps> Oh, oh no! Sick! Using the cross through to get behind, sneak behind the Tsuvaki uh, overdrive attack, attacking her from the rear, Dang, getting red the first round oof. this set. Yeah, I swear. When you're trying to block that move, it's unreactable. <laughs> the two times I did it in my set, it was a lucky guess. <laughs> oh! The right off the bat, straight for the low. A big slide to start us off. 3k. I like it. Overdrive. Ooh. Oh, man. He's going to lose all of that. There's a reset that. in there somewhere. Whoa. He lost a lot of time, but he still gets to cash out. So as much as I like uh, this song, the is it Tao's theme, I really want them to play Hibiki's theme. <laughs> Dude. That song slaps, man. It really does. <laughs> Yeah, next time I'm on, next time we play, we gotta listen to Hibiki's theme. All right. All right. <laughs> We're playing Hibiki's theme. I, mean, I think you're on after this because we'll go to Winter's finals. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. This is semis. So we'll go to finals. I bet the winner of this? Yep. Yeah, they both look like they're both good competition. I'm excited. Tsubaki just talking to her sword after winning that round. <laughs> to her S word. Ooh. Well, combos. Oh, tries to meet oh. the roll. Just gets under it, but still eats a pot. Dude, Tsubaki combos look so cool. Catches Ooh, the wall. Beautiful coverage. Look at this. Snowball Don't away with it. Don't you burst. Roll ever you, again. You better not burst. This is the, this is the oh, point. Oh. Nice perfect. Oof. Dying with the overdrive and, and 50 Dang. meter. Just Vitosa smothering right in that round. I didn't want him to burst because I didn't feel like he could close that out with the route he was taking i was hoping for an overdrive on wake up or something but yeah, yeah he got caught with the grab anyway Whoa. Ooh, just a faded matchup i don't know the lore i don't know oh, too they, much of the lore they're uh, they're both part of the same organization Ooh, so. training partners maybe is clay is clay how's Yo. it going oh, Subaki. yeah man this Subaki is putting in work too. oh no <laughs> as i say that burst that oh man Ooh. that could have been Ooh. Combos. Whoa. Whoa. Resets. Whoa, whoa. Only really there because he didn't he didn't barrier block on jump. <gasps> Bananas. The banana super. Goo, 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 goo. Push him away. Get a little bit nice. of the Subaki meter. Beautiful. That's a command grab. Oh, oh. Where are these guys from? Do you know? I have no idea. They just kind of just like came in for the i'm assuming for the new cross tag patch but i mean like these guys play this game i, believe, I don't know i believe red and parrot are oh yeah up. red yeah we know we know about red i don't know about mitosis or those other guys that were i'm, I'm sorry i don't remember their tags but yeah, Vinny is actually pretty it's bumping today bumping new patch new oh, oh fantastic my. answer to the projectile getting a fatal starter here's a combo 3k, 3K. oh 3.2 Overhead. That's so so hard to see, dude. So my toasters hit rush down. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh, the weight is expecting a DP. Oh my god, dude, you cannot block. Oh, <gasps> I caught it anyway. Caught it. We didn't have to eat okay. a reset's worth of damage there. Actually kept him alive. 
Oh, wow. good stuff. Not able to punish it, but he's still got a little bit of over overdrive left for himself. It's all gone now. Oh. Using the meter to cancel gets a counter hit for it. It's Gonna bring all the way to the corner. No, it was already no. set. No, it wasn't. It was it's just a un drop. Fortunate drop. Did you might as well play that because I have to, we have to make it up to you. Yeah. Ooh, Zuna draw right, really making his way back into this, but he doesn't cover the roll and lets Ubaki right back out, trying to get it right back in, but just like that, the burst getting out. <gasps> oh, that was a really smart by by Subaki, like trying Ooh, to run fireball. run after the fireball, <laughs> not letting himself get caught. Oh, good challenge. That was an overhead. Good blocks. Jesus. Red almost has his overdrive back. This should be back. it? No, no rapid. Oh, <gasps> that was very ballsy. And I really like how Red how Red was activating overdrive in that set. Usually activating on, like, getting close, getting into that range zero with his opponent. So you're like, all right, now what are you about to press? This is loser semis, this by the way. This should be loser semis. That should be it. That's 2-1, right? Yeah, That's the end of the set. Dude, I want to let it rock, but you know, tournament, nah, tournament rules. Tournament yeah. rules. You got We got to keep this stuff going. You know, it's almost nine. We got two BB Tech brackets going on. Don't worry about all that part. Losers finals should be three of five, though, right? Correct. Finals. All right, so I'm playing against Red. Mm-hmm. All right. And even though that was, a, that was a match worthy of a losers final spot, the, we're actually going to be rocking, rocking uh, Comfy Depth Step versus red for losers finals and they're set in winner's side as uh, comfy was the one to knock red dang unlucky camera Yeah, these two met in winners finals, uh, winners side. They had a very, very close game. There's a lot of ad adaptation being made by both Red and Comfy Dubs Up, but Comfy Dubs Up made it made it work out at the end in that in that set. And now it's three out of five. Now I am joined by the Dragalia legend. Now Epic Seven legend himself. Yeah, I, I'm still playing both, but I'm actually playing Epic Seven a little bit more these days. There's some arena right now, actually. Ooh. Nice. But up here we got red and comfy. Uh, here, red here's, playing Hibiki. Hmm? Here's some of these people are people that showed up for Rushdown yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so basically, we had a few people from Denton show up to Rushdown. We had a uh, Clay, Omega, and Parrot show up, and we had all three of them actually in the commentary booth. And I made sure to shout out uh, uh, Freaks and Geeks as well. I, th I think I did it about five times. In fact. Nice. Uh. It was a lot of fun. We did BB tag. We, we were going to do BBCF, but there's some miscommunication. We didn't actually end up having any setups. And we also did some Melty with the King of Poverty himself, uh, Dad Pixel. Nice. That's awesome. Good to hear. And good to see some of those folks out here. Shout outs to uh, Esports Arena out in Arlington. Esports They're, Stadium. There is actually Esports Stadium. The Esports Arena is actually in Fort Worth, and they are not affiliated with the stadium. <laughs> which, one, which one's the, uh, the GameStop Center? The GameStop Performance... The, the, uh, the, uh, I forget which... I think forget where they're at. I know they're, they are in Frisco, though, but definitely esports is picking up in Dallas, and I'm excited to be part of it. So, you know, it's a fun time. And definitely check out DreamHack coming up this uh, couple weeks from now. But Coco Noe putting the pressure on. Yeah, he does. He, he thinks it'll go somewhere. And some big... On the cross of Red's been unsuccessful trying to deal with this corner pressure by Comfy. Like No, Comfy's cooking away is insane. Oh, for sure. The mix is way too real whenever it turns up. Jeez Louise. Okay, here we go. Hibiki going to the skies. Getting some nice damage in. Three, four, two, five. Although, here we go. And now that he's got his start up, it's going to be mixed city. Oh, tries to get a tick grab overhead. Good blocks by Red, but he gets counter hit anyway. Yeah, again, like Kokonoi, once she gets set up, is really hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. hard to really find your the time for you to press into the uh, overdrive for Hibiki here. I'm actually not sure what his his overdrive does. Oh, if I remember correctly, it, like 
it enhances his shadows and makes them like faster. So he's able to do some new shadow uh, combos while he's in it. Like, makes sense, but not quite enough as Coming Dubstep takes the first game. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of adjustments do you think we we'll need to see from Coming Dubstep in order to uh, take this one back? From Comfy or Red? From uh, from from Red. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I think, I think he really needs to like play just a little bit more patient and wait to get his shadow to get shadow clones in and get like good counter hits because see he, he's able to play the spacing game just fine but if he gets into the mix like Com comfy just doesn't let him play anymore and he i think it's just best if he just tries to stay out of range zero unless he is the one pressing his advantage yeah i agree because because again comfy is just dominating this so far he really needs to change up his, his plan a little bit more Oh, and a good, good press did, there, not believe. believing the overhead. All right, what you got, Hibiki? Good stuff. Aggressive shadow in. And now we're going to see some crazy mix-ups. Or not. Mm -hmm. That's the end of that. Man, like I'm used to like V-triggers in Street Fighter V that last for a long time. These last for such so, such a short time. It's ridiculous. Right. Oh man, he was on the cusp of making this comeback, but it's not looking too good right now. Oh no, look out, it's the pillar. Dude, that pillar is so good. <gasps> Fatal count. Oh no, runs up, tries to... Tries to... I respect the attempt. Definitely. If it wasn't for the meter, he would have been able to, because Kokonoi doesn't have the greatest, like, uh, non-metered reversals. But, in fact, she doesn't have any. But, gotta look at the bar, man. Man, this is just looking so commanding for comfy so far in this first round or the second round rather all right I'm, i really like these challenges that red's going for now she's just like he's starting to notice these the gaps in the kokonoi pressure getting a jab for it but he needs to make just a little bit more out of it because he's still even after the jab he's still left in the mix <gasps> big drop that was, yeah that was pretty big drop from comfy there but man, that lightning rod just so. Oh my gosh. The purple grab. Oh, and blue beat. Yeah, it's a purple grab. Okay, what we got? Lows. Oh man, almost linked into the, to the explosion. But... That is going to be 2 0 for Comfy so far. Man, red is not looking so hot right now. Ooh. He's looking pretty blue. What? <laughs> no, blue moon's over there. Oh. Dude, he, he's apparently entered here as blue too. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. He he used to be blue. Now he's red. He used to be orange. He's. Oh, I remember when he was here last time. Blue. He's a chameleon man. Now he's going with a tiger. I respect it. I don't. All right. What do you what do you think? If you respect it, what do you think he's trying to get by going the tiger versus Kokonoi here? I I think that he's just hoping to catch comfy napping on some of his pressure. I think he's just hoping to get a, a really big meaty grab in there, as well as the fact that, uh, even though. I'm not sure if it, if it's really the best idea, considering uh, Comfy is pretty comfortable up close. But uh, with the magnetism, he can keep Comfy close to him and maybe ruin his spacing a little bit better. I like I like the idea. Let's see if it comes through. But already big counter hit by Comfy there. Oh, misses the okay. What? Who? Ugh. And here we go. That big body is proving to be a detriment here. Yeah, now he's giving him more ability to just get opened up. This is such a big body, such slow bunts. He's not going to be able to jab his way out. He's got to commit to the command grabs. And even though it works out that time, who knows if it's going to work out the next few. Oh, I like, the, I like the attempt. Oh, my gosh. Comfy, please. So much damage. Let's grab. Take your buster. Got your finger. Tries to spark bolt. It does spark bolt. Almost oh, pulled no. no. That's going to be a big finish. He has to burst it. Comfy's still sitting on so much of his own, but the girl, it's on. And that, dude, Taker does damage. Woof. Coco Noe getting some uh, abuse from her creation. <laughs> Like you said, these, his ability to like get a command grab out of the pressure is really what helping him out here. But that's such a committal option. It, it has to be while she's magnetized is the thing. If she's not magnetized, it doesn't really do a whole lot. 
And so in a situation like this one, oh no! See again through the pressure. Very nice. Gadget finger, magnetizer. Yeah. What's the mix? Just tries to poke. Oh, ding! Say goodbye counter. to your friends. Dude, that gadget finger doing some work here. Purple grab. Oh. Lots Dude. of damage. Gadget finger. Keep her magnetized. I love it. Oh my god. And he's not gonna have the. Oh, he oh. does have the meter, not the burst one. He's got the meter. Nice. Oh, so he doesn't he's wait. got burst now, though. I kind of just want him to overdrive. <laughs> well, I called it. All right, what you got? Nothing. Cool. Big low, and now it's. But hey, that first round was pretty solid. I'm looking forward to seeing more from here. Yeah, but now he's missing his. He's gonna be missing his burst for a little while. Again, you know, it hasn't been super necessary for him to get out of this pressure. So. Not really. And again, I always see another grab into Gadget Finger. Like, that magnetism is getting some work done right now. Spark. Oh, watch the low. Full screen low, too. <laughs> right. It's ridiculous. It's like, hey, what oh. if she just... What if this is just phone on? What if she just had phone on's moves? Oh, here well, we go. No. His way out. Still magnetized, though. Still okay, uses... Okay, what you got? Oh, it just stays on the ground and gets uh, gets him with the trip card 3C. He's got meter too. But he's still magnetized. How long does magnetism last? Jeez Louise. No, oh, this burst of spark bolt. He doesn't have the meter to make the save. Just has to burst it out. Oh, yeah. I respect it, though. <gasps> Into the trap. That trap, though. Oh, and he doesn't get that. Well, now the far 3C, making it really hard for Red to just wake up with the command grab. Oh, he tried to do an elbow, and that will be it. 3-0 for Comfy. Comfy will move on to two grand finals. Love it. Why is that cat so attractive? That's Man. Kokonoi. I, I find a lot she, of characters... She is also the daughter of Nine, so that might have something to do with it. Yeah. Nine and Jubei. I'm, like, I'm going to leave it at that. This is, this is not Freaks After Hours just yet. <laughs> so, uh, stuck no, it would be the not button. Let's see here. Okay, very good showing by Red. You know, like throughout the bracket, very impressive Hibiki stuff. Like, yeah, no, uh, Red. Uh, he doesn't come by too often. He comes by for certain games, but I do love seeing him come by. I played him earlier in the. Uh, I played him earlier in the uh, the side side bracket, where it was DLC, DLC only for the new characters, and uh, I won that one, but lost against Atlas in the next round. But he's definitely not a bad player. Uh, but he is Parrot's brother, so, you know, maybe he's shown him some stuff. <laughs> Jay's still, still popping off to the music, going Kokonoi this time around. Throw counter at the very beginning of this grand final set. Right on, um, I mean, Parrot I, I on, thought Parrot wasn't deserving of the Kokonoe. Good grab. That what was being said out there? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Here we go, wrenches. Good stuff here from, from, uh, Comfy. Didn't do. Although I'm just waiting for some land shark action. There we go. My God, Susano just wakes up with the fireball. Love it. Side swap. There it is. No tech by Susano. No, just tech barrier. Grab. Gets the grab too. No uh, burst switch for you here. I guess he could just burst. No, he wants to do the overdrive instead. Whoa! What was that? Oh, he's trying. To, probably trying to grab some. Some jump pressure again from Comfy Dub Sub, but just whips it. Comfy Dub Sub drawing first blood in and the Comfy first game. Definitely showing some improvement here with Kokonoe. I, I don't know why he didn't want to switch to Platinum last time, but hey, whatever. Whatever puts your boat, man. All right? This is a very curious pick. But... Maybe he just wanted to place more Platinum. To be, and I, I, mean, I don't blame him for that. Yeah. Okay, good stuff here. Blue Beat. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh looks like we lost sound. Uh, is that voice, uh, voice meter becoming potato? Yeah. <laughs> well, we can't comment on the sounds anymore, but it's fine. Oh man, just catching, pressing buttons. In this... this is looking a lot more commanding than his last round in winners finals. Oh, goes for overdrive again, instead of... oh. and just wrenches him to death. I love it. Comfy showing that he's very comfy with this uh, Coco Noe. Mm-hmm. Kokonoi Mercury. And don't forget, guys, this is Grand Finals. Uh, 
uh, Susan Ubu is in winner's side, so Comfy Dubs will have to win two best of fives in order to take this one. And if he's if he's going like this, it's very possible. All right, good stuff here with the uh, the magnetron Whoa. catching the fireball. Good block, and he presses away from the graviton pressure. Just using tons, like again, th this this pressure is nutty. Wow, here we go. He's so used. He immediately he's... uses the big fireball. Pred's been playing comfy for so long now. He's uh, he's already not a player to just like super wait his turn, wait his turn through blocking. He's he's one to press. He's one to find the gap and really make you pay for it, letting letting him in. All right, what you got? Just crazy pressure. I respect Oof. it. But it seems like as soon as uh, Parrot gets his pressure on, it, it's, it's kind of almost over just because his mix is so good with Susano. Yeah, this a, a Susano mix is pretty good. Parrot's ability to like to convert off of any stray hit that he can is really, really impressive. And it gets him so much damage just any time he gets a touch. But speaking of touches, here we go. We're going with that bad touch. <laughs> bad touch to the corner with Yi. Rocket fists, Magnetron, keep keep the fireball back down. Oh, Volcal, and not just pressing his way through. Rapid oh, purple oh, grab. Tried to purple grab. I love it. Pair not asleep at the wheel. Oh. Calls again, pushes him all the way to the corner. Pair just runs his way out. Like man, I don't want any more of this. And here we go, Parrot going in with some meaty damage from Suzano. Oh, big fatal counter. That's going to be it. Game two to Susanoo. Susanoo. No, Susanoo has won. Now the game has to crash again. And we're, change, ba we're back. Change the disc. That, what is with that disc? I'm not sure what's going on like, here. I don't really know why. I'm just kind of. I'm suspecting that, like, maybe there's a smudge and it's, like, probably gone, like, messed you, you up some sort You know what doesn't get smudged? The Steam version. <laughs> Play all <laughs> games on PC. No exceptions. Ooh. I, I don't know about all that. With the with Dr. Justice with the harsh truth here at Freaks and Geeks. 1807 Elm Street. <laughs> Texas. Yep. Yeah. Uh... Actually, no, we're Bobby. Joey we're. still uh, help the customers? Okay. All right. Coco Noe. Sticking with what's working. What we got in the shadows, the Hibiki theme. All right, and we're back in it, one one a piece. I don't think that uh, break will favor either person. So, well, maybe it favors Perry. What's? Oh my God! You know he he was the one coming off of that win, and even though there's a short delay, he's you know he's looking on fire already. No tech by Comfy there. Maybe the dismount was all part of Parrot's plan. Although I have confidence that that Comfy can still make this interesting. Oh! Just Dicks. sort him. He is the blade that can cut time. Ding. The sick tag. On the pressure. Oh my gosh. It's you know, pressure though. All of it. Susanu was just able to down back. But it still succeeded in one way. And that now Susanu is in the corner. Whoa. Far okay, reaching Graviton. Uh, far reaching C. Yikes. <laughs> And that's just on over for you. There's lots of damage. Yeah. Just, just, just jabs him. Blue winning, beak. Winning in some ace combat there. Doesn't like the tech. Gets yeah. him with the low. Good stuff here with the graviton. Uh, just eats the eats the hit on wake up, but it's gonna be a little bit less damage than if he'd gotten hit on the ground. So, <gasps> oh, 
I had presses on the setup. Man, Susanu is like, his reactions this set are so on point. He, I feel like he's never pressed this much versus, uh, this is comfy. And now he's done the overdrive uh, exclusive super unlocking all of his moves. Which is pretty nice, to be honest. Yeah. I like seeing that stuff. I think he's even able to, like, super... Uh, I think he can actually convert with it, but he didn't convert that time. And, in fact, just loses the round for it. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta, gotta do it. It's okay. Susan Uwu is gonna go ahead and come back here. Woo! That hitbox, though. Oh, my gosh. Susan Uwu. Oh, it doesn't convert, though. Gets the hit. Teleport. Like it. Just DPs through it all. He's already has that unlocked. Doesn't want to deal with any of the Kokonoi nonsense. Now, what happens if, if uh, Susano O gets multiple emblems of the same type? And notice that it does put a number on it. Does, does with the number on it? Uh, that means that it has been, it's actually been leveled up and it has additional effects. Okay, that's cool. Or, or effects of some sort, whether it be like it has a new on hit property or it just does more damage. Has armor or something like that, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Pressure here from Comfy Dubstep. Oh, Susano does have active flow no longer. He still has the burst though. You know. He doesn't want to use it, taking a bunch the of damage from that combo. DP! And that will be game two to Susano. Two one. I burned myself in this coffee. Yeah. But uh man. I, have a drink. I drink it before it was cool. Oh, dude, we got the W's and L's for this setup, too. That's cool. Shoutouts to the shoutouts. Shout Thank you. All right, yeah. so th this is going to be tournament point for Susanna Wu. And there's an ad adaptation uh, in particular that I want to point out is that he's been getting that DP. He's been getting DP fairly early on in these games, and he's just not respecting any of the setups. And a lot of comfy dubstep's game plan as a whole really relies on being able to get some sort of like setup right? absolutely and and that plan gets really really disrupted whenever anybody be it like with a just a jab and no conversion or paired with his dp it gets when it gets disrupted by somebody like interfering with the setup comfy dubstep has a really hard time like re-adapting this is gonna be a tournament point right here this is gonna be the last round if uh, Susano Wu wins this, I mean he's got, he's got the burst still. And this is gonna be a really tall order by Comfy here, especially now that he's in the corner. Just pressure. Oh, oh no. does a neutral jump to get up. Good stuff here from Comfy. Back to mid screen. Using that, unfortunately, that lightning rod isn't as scary mid screen, so. Not a whole lot of doing. Although it does recharge pretty fast using the Gravitron. Ooh, using two Gravitons. He's managed to push Susanu all the way to the corner. TRM'd. Good rocket. Oh, drops the combo, but he does not get punished for it. No DP unlocked by Susanu yet, so he doesn't have to worry about that. But he does have to worry about the reversal super. I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Parrot just went ahead and... Uh, Uses his overdrive here. No, immediately burst. Never mind. Yeah, but that's so good for him. He's able to burst, burst uh, Comfy into the corner. Uses barrier, but he immediately gets a hit and then converts again after dropping it. I love it. Man, this is this is pretty tense here for both players. You know, tournament point. This is tournament life for Comfy Dubs up here. Susano does have a full stick of butter, but I don't know if it's going to be any good. Nope, yeah, that will be the round for Comfy. Showing signs. And both players sitting out about the same amount of uh, burst. And now oh, Parrot has to unlock all his stuff again, not to mention the fact that he still doesn't have his burst back. Yep, and a good opener by Comfy means that it's going to be even harder for Susano to actually unlock his stuff. Good blocks. Uses barrier. Try just doesn't want to deal with the lightning rod. Oh, Gets the, a hit in. Graviton actually pulls him forward, allowing Susanu to actually get that punish. Super ball knocking. It comes back down. Wow. 
a lot of damage here from Susano, but unfortunately now Comfy's on the offensive. No, I'm gonna grab the active flow. This could be it, but the pop doesn't come through. But he still got. Oh, he doesn't go for the XL exceed, giving Susano like the ability to burst there. I don't think he has DP to shit either. So uh, he he has it unlocked now, but it's doesn't uh, matter. Up. It'll be two two now. Comfy takes this game and it's, and uh, saves his uh, tournament life for now. And now, not only is Parrot threatening tournament point, but Comfy Dubs is threatening the reset. All right, here we go. Back into it. Oh boy, that's a that's an okay start by Susan, just getting a good six A. Here we go. Two more moves unlocked. It looks like that's Land Shark. Oh. Oh, the anti air bringing it back to the ground. What's the mix? It's a command grab. Rapper cancel. Yeah. Oh my god, that was a perfect first round. That was incredible. Ooh. I really like this adaptation by uh, Parrot here. He's kind of saying back, throwing out his buns as preemptive, like, stay away from me, comfy buns. At that time, uh, Comfy Dubsub's able to make something of it, catches the whiff button, and now he's got him in the uses corner. Uses the Graviton push to get him into the corner, too, which is pretty nice. Good burst. Uses the wrench, keeps him back down. Second verse, same as the first. Nope, uses Barrier to keep out of that nonsense. This catches the, the falling buttons. Although, look at this barrier. It's pretty low at this point. It runs up throw. Love it. And Burst is, now Burst is now back for Susanoo, but I'd be surprised if he uses it on this next touch. I haven't seen the missile super just yet. <gasps> Good. Active flow. Can use... Command grab rapid. Can use overdrive if he wants. Super ball safe jump. It's going to come back down. He grabs through it. There's no burst for Comfy Dump stuff. Is that it? It is. And that will be, I believe, Susanoo O's game. And Ooh. Susanoo O is your winner for Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Susanoo Wu is your winner for BBCF. And at the very end of it all, the Susan win breaks the console yet again. All right. I got some matches to play in uh, BB Tag, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off so we can get some interview with uh, Parrot. All right. And good stuff by Comfy. You know, the pressure. All, always crazy to see the pressure and like those adaptations he was making to Wait, to how to up? to like you know whiff punish Susano some more but really really good stuff by yes but really really good stuff by Parrot and just like all of those adaptations he was making all of those like those little things realizing the down back by uh, by Comfy Dub stuff would leave him so vulnerable to that land shark command grab uh, realizing that like if he doesn't have his pressure going on first in the range zero the scramble is like really really wild even with like all plus buttons from Susano you know he started playing it further back and just trying to trying to get a conversion with his keep away buttons really really impressive stuff by both players there really impressive bracket by everybody you know Aegis showing up and like showing leaps and bounds of improvement in his play i'm not saying that just because he's in the streamer room he he definitely did really good wow. my toasted red both like really good players but the, the very first game yeah Susan think. Wu. I came in with the and won the yeah you did one. yeah but he won he won, he won two in a row after that yeah Look, this is a travesty, all right? <laughs> How can my name be Susan Wu? It's supposed to be Susan Uwu. Susan Uwu. Yeah, it was Susan Wu. Oh, Susan Uwu. It was No, it wasn't. Pull up the stream names. See? It... Susan. Oh, no, Susan it is. Uwu. You're right. Not I'm a bad. travesty. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> can't, I'm bad. Can't I can win games. I... Yeah. <laughs> Illiterate parent, but Illiterate the victor. Parent. I can read Jay, but I can't read words. <laughs> but the victor, nonetheless. Parent, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Hold the teddy. <laughs> oh, hold the teddy. Get the teddy. All right. 
Uh, I'm a little disappointed with that ending because Jay didn't know that it was over, so... Or Deku, or whatever I should call him. So it was a little anticlimactic because we had to go find out. So I'm a little disappointed with that, but... Yeah. So... Like you, whenever Susano wins, it causes everything to break. Also, cause... that apparently something's wrong with that PlayStation. Because whenever Susan wins, the PlayStation <laughs> would just break, except for that one time it didn't. The... But um, hey, you know, tell us, tell us about about uh, Grand Finals. So talk us through some of your mindset there. It looked like there was a lot of adaptations being made by both of you guys in that set. Yeah, so. I went and watched the like replays and made a couple adaptations. Some of them were just like I was not attacking Jay while he had the lightning out. I was getting caught by that a lot recently. Mm -hmm. So I just stopped doing that, and that helped a lot. Uh, that thing at the end where I walked forward and grabbed him. Oh, uh, yeah. That's because I knew that the super wasn't... We wouldn't go away on hit or block, but I could just use a grab animation to invul through it. Mm -hmm. And I figured he wouldn't expect me to just walk forward slowly and grab. <laughs> So that was just kind of a hard read. Other than that, I was using JA a lot because it's a lot. It recovers a lot faster than Susan's JB, so it was helping me not get caught by anti airs as much. Just got caught by a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, it was pretty standard. Though Jay's getting hit by God Press a lot more than I expected him to. Right, and like a lot of down back, we're probably just like like I literally just getting ready for. I just did raw God Press one time, and it actually caught him. So I don't know about that, but like. Still a really good set. Mm -hmm. Like, like Deku is an amazing player. It is always fun to play him in Central Fiction Grand Finals every month. <laughs> and uh, uh, we got one more question, and then we'll be good. And uh, any, uh, you know, Deku is really good, but we had a lot of other players showing up in this tonight too. Yeah. How was the? How was your thoughts on the bracket as a whole to this month? I like it. I like seeing more people in Central Fiction besides just like the freaks regulars. Uh, I, Icarus and Red came here with me, so, oh. and then Mitosis, and Mitosis just came down here on his own, I think, because I met him at Dallas Distortion, and I, then I met him at Rushdown yesterday, and that's basically the only times I've seen him. Hmm. Yep, shoutouts, shoutouts to the new players, and definitely shoutouts to you, Parrot, good stuff on the win. Thank you. And now we're going into some BB tag action. You mind oh. if I stay here to commentate? Not at all, unless, uh... Yeah. Is is Lant trying to commentate though? Okay. 